Hello, and welcome to the ADSB University, powered by Free Flight Systems. My name is Pete Ring. In this first chapter, we will cover the basics of what ADSB is. Let's jump right in. What is ADSB? By definition, ADSB stands for Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast, which means messages are sent out periodically without the need for interrogation. The system is dependent on aircraft being equipped with what the FAA defines as a high integrity position source. For all intents and purposes, that means a WASP GPS. ADSB will provide radar like surveillance services providing aircraft position and other data to air traffic control. ADSB will broadcast aircraft position and other data continuously to ADSB ground stations and to other ADSB equipped aircraft. The final rule for ADSB requirements was issued by the FAA on May 27th of 2010. In that final rule, it states that all aircraft operating within a set guidelines of airspace in the United States will have to be equipped with ADSB out by January 1st of 2020. This date was selected to allow a 10-year window of opportunity for the industry to equip with ADSB equipment. ADSB out is when your aircraft transmits its precise location to ADSB ground stations and other ADSB equipped aircraft. With this mandate, current transponder requirements are unchanged from the requirements that exist today. It's important to note that this regulation does not mandate the equipage of avionics that provide ADSB in services. The airspaces that ADSB is required for aircraft operation after January 1st, 2020 are as follows. Class A airspace, 18,000 feet and above. Class B and Class C airspaces, including the areas above these airspaces up to 10,000 feet and also including all airspace inside the Mode C ring that surrounds Class Bravo airports. Class E airspace, 10,000 feet and above, across the continental United States and in the Gulf of Mexico, 12 nautical miles out and at 3,000 feet and above.